Okay, and welcome back. I'm going to continue working on some more rational uh, functions and, and expressions. So I mentioned in the first video basically what a uh, rational function was and uh, the difference between that and a rational expression. So in this case, this really more is an exercise of just factoring. Uh, again, some calculus students will uh, find this really useful because this is basically what you're doing when you're trying to calculate limits you need to try to uh, factor out factors in problems um, in this case here let's work on this next one here 2x squared um, minus x minus 1 and this is going to be all over x squared minus 1 and we're multiplying this times 9x squared minus 4, which is all over 3x squared minus x minus 2. Okay, so this factors out like this. First of all, let's set up our division bar and get ready for factoring. Had this been division, you would have to flip this fraction over, just so you know. We'll do a problem like that, but I just thought I'd mention that to you now. But for now, this is simple. Okay. So set up your parentheses. And set up your parentheses. Well, let's do the bottom one. That's easier. The difference of two squares. X plus 1, X minus 1. And on the top, well... One of them is going to be 2x, the other one's going to be x. And when I multiply uh, 2x times something on the outside, and I multiply something times this x on the inside, so my outer and my inner have to sum up, those products have to sum up to uh, a negative x. Well, the only ones that really work out are going to be um, 1 and 1, because this negative 1 consists of two factors, one of which is one and the other is negative one so we'll put a plus sign here and a minus sign here and we can do the check you know x negative two x negative two x plus one x is uh, going to be a negative x so that works okay and on this here this also is a difference of two squares and i'm going to go ahead and just do this right here um, i'm going to jump to the answer if you don't see it right away uh, I have videos on difference of squares, but in this one here, basically it's going to be 3x uh, minus 2 and 3x plus 2. Okay, and this is all going to be over. Set up our parentheses. Uh, this is going to be 2 times 1. This is 3 times 1, so we're going to have 3x, x, and sign pattern is going to be, well, one has to be plus, one has to be minus. Uh, this one will be plus. This one will be minus, and one of them has to be 2, and the other one has to be 1. So you can check 2x, negative 3x, so that's a negative x. Okay, so now let's see what cancels out here. In this case, we have the x minus 1 cancels with the x minus 1. The 3x plus 2 cancels with the 3x plus 2. And I'm left with 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 2 and that's all over x plus 1 times x minus 1 and this can be written like this if you want um, 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 2 all over x squared minus 1 you may get something that looks like that. Uh, either answer is totally acceptable. Um, I kind of like this one here just because I, I like to uh, simplify uh, whenever possible, especially when you have a 1. For me, it just looks better, but really doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Let's do another one here. Okay, here's one. About 4 x squared. Now I'm doing all these examples. I'm actually, I made up a whole bunch of these, but I'm being selective here on the ones that I think you guys would really benefit from. Um, so let's see. x squared 
plus 2x minus 3. All right. I promised you division 1, so here it is. 30x squared minus 95x plus 15. Now, don't be so quick to get scared with the, of this problem. It's not as bad as you really think it is. It's going to be a lot simpler watch. Okay, so basically, let's transform the top. You can factor out a 2 out of the top. So when you do that, you're going to get 2 on the outside. You'll get 2x squared minus x minus 1. And that's all over x squared uh, plus 2x minus 3 which we can go ahead and factor that out right now and you're gonna get x minus 1 times x plus 3 okay and you can do the outer and inner check this is outer and this is the inner 3x negative x positive 2x good um, and let's go ahead and divide this by this factors, uh, let me see, a 5 can come out of here. Okay, so this will be 6x squared minus 19x plus 3. And that's all over, we can factor out a 3, which will give you 3x squared minus 9. And um, let's go ahead and uh, factor everything else out. So what else are we missing here? Well, on the top, 2 times the quantity. Let's do this. You're going to have two sets of parentheses here. You're going to get a 2x here, an x here. Same pattern is going to be plus, minus, and 1 and 1 has to be that. And that's all going to be over. Would well, you have that over here? x minus 1. Just copy it down. x plus 3. Now here's where we're going to flip we're going to invert and multiply this fraction here if you don't know about that I have other videos that explain about fractions multiply and dividing fractions okay so the bottom is going to now become the numerator so this let's see we can bring the 3 here x squared minus 9 is difference of 2 squares so that's going to be x plus 3 x minus 3 okay and on the bottom we're going to do what we have on the top so that's going to be five on the outside and this will factor out like this well six x and x and to make a three it's going to be a three and a one so six and the three is eighteen plus the one is a nineteen so the three would be on this side here and the one would be over here and one of them is going to be minus and the other one's going to be well in this case here since you're multiplying uh, two numbers they have to be positive but they add up to be negative so therefore they must be both negative okay so in this case here this problem works out real nice and let me move everything up a little bit so x minus 1 cancels with the x minus 1, the x minus 3 with the x minus 3, and let's see, um, well, nothing else really cancels out that I can see. Maybe we got the x plus 3, we got the x plus 3, and do we see anything else here? Nope. So 2 times 2x plus 1 times a 3, so 2 times a 3 is going to be a 6, times just a 2x plus 1 okay and that's all going to be over 5 times this binomial okay so that's basically it um, I have more examples this is just some of them some of many and I would suggest to uh, go and and do some uh, do search for the other videos and I hope this one helped, and um, thanks for watching.